watch this video. If you missed my video yesterday, which was the unlimited XP glitch via the furnace, go and do it because it's been patched today. Welcome back, my name is Echo. Hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day. In today's Minecraft video, we have a brand new hotfix update for Minecraft Pocket Edition, the Bedrock version. This being the version 1.18.12. It is rolling out on iOS, Android, Windows 10, Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation. Here's the confirmation from Megaspud, Jay, Community Manager. We're fixing some more bugs that you have let us know about. Check out the change log for 1.18.12 Bedrock Edition hotfix that is rolling out over the next few days. Links down below. Please let us know about any new bugs you find at bugs.mojang.com. Enjoy. So like I said, click off today's video and go and watch that unlimited XP glitch. Take advantage of it because in 1.18.12, it is patched. Also, quick reminder, this is just a hotfix update. So this is just a focus on what they consider as game-breaking bugs. The first one we have is improved the smoothness of player movement. We've got a bug report. Players have choppy animations in 1.18.12. Dot 10. We have a video here. So I haven't seen this or experienced this, but apparently players are incredibly choppy. Definitely see it kind of with the bow. Also, notice the bow went through the head. It's also another video here. I noticed a lot of people reporting issues with multiplayer and apparently some issues with movement as well. If you regularly play servers, go and load up the servers and see if they're working any better today. The next change, the pause menus invite to game button is now always enabled on realms. Fixed an issue where rating count and offer tiles were not visible in the marketplace. Of course it's the marketplace and they gotta get the hot fix in there. Fixed an issue with experience being granted when moving items from the hotbar in the furnace, UI screens. So this one, I showed you how it works. It was the most broken bug Bedrock has ever seen. It was a case of if you were opening a furnace or a smoker or a blast furnace and taking your items and doing this, it would give you XP as if you just smelted 64 of these. It started to become quite extreme when players were using things like stacks of 64 uh, food variations. So you could do the same. We put them in the... In, in the uh, the third slot, we could do this, it would give you XP. And then it become incredibly game breaking where people could use 64 netherite scraps or 64 diamonds, go into a blast furnace, third slot, and just tap on it. Players actually managed to reach the max level amount of XP by doing this. And I did it using an auto clicker. Thing was insane. Change it to one, you say, I think? Try one. <laughs> She's look at this. <laughs> oh no. So once again, I mean, I'm not saying you should, but you should totally click off today's video, go and use the XP bug before you update to 1.18.12 cuz you're probably not going to get a bug like this for a long time. Fixed a crash that could occur when launching the game on PlayStation while connected with remote play. We got a bug report. Can't enter the game. So basically players would get stuck. I've actually been stuck on this menu a couple of times, um, but this obviously in Russian, um, the person was not able to play Minecraft. But PlayStation, so yep, yeah, bug report, been fixed. And last but not least, fixed a bug where animation timeline events at 0.0, .0 would sometimes not run in looping animations. And those are your changes. And that is the hotfix update for 1.18.12. I also want to remind you, the funny thing is, you see this bug report, the one to do with furnaces and XP? Uh, there is a bug report page, but you're not able to click it or see it. That's so people don't find out about this. Again, go back to 1.18.10 take advantage, and then update your game with tons of XP. Have a great day. No beta today, maybe tomorrow. See you in the next video.